Okay, folks, this was early this morning. I've got a video uploading. You should have seen that video before you saw this one. You should, anyway. So, you can read this. I'm going to always go to full sp screen. I'll give you all the information I can. From the suns to earthquakes to vacuum with tornadoes and sprites. So from a lot of natural weather to man-made harp to uh, basically data, facts. Uh, pretty much give you try to give you as much as I can about when there's some physics and so forth and so on. So we've got a new object up by the sun that's been around for a few days now. So let's go take a look at that. But editing is for weaklings, so first we take a look at the solar wind speed and so forth. And yeah, I pretty much never take time to edit, so I just pop back and forth on the screen thing. It works pretty good. So there's your solar wind speeds and so forth, density on the rise, speed down and up again a little bit. Here's a good link for you to go look at uh, your auroral and. We should be able to take a look at the south too. Hang on. And as you see, you get two shots here of the North Pole, and then you can compare that to the to the south. So, and as you can see, I was going to say that you'll start seeing a signature that'll match the north, and they usually do try to match a little bit lately. So the idea that you see this starting to sprunk up, this is the north. Both is the same shot pretty much. This was starting to form here. As you see it on the South Pole starting to form right there. Pretty much a matching auroral. We do rotate, but at the same time, we do a bit of a wobble also, just like how the moon does. And basically, remember, we thought the Earth was flat for a long time, folks, okay? So basically, the, the sun spirals somewhat through space, and so does uh, we rotate, but we also spiral somewhat like a bullet also and do a little bit of wobble from the equator. Okay, here's our x ray flux from Boulder, Colorado. Here we got the AM class, and basically also they registered this. Uh, I think we're missing the other M class flare at a certain time, so it's not on this chart, I don't believe yet. If not, they misread it and barely, or it must have actually hit, and this is actually a little bit wrong on the data, and basically they called it either that. Vice versa, we had two M's, as you've seen in the information I gave you earlier. Currently, we're down from a little bit of solar absorption than we had last yesterday, okay? As you see, we're getting a little bit, but not that much. Still in wav. Here's some good action from yesterday, and you can still see the mass up there is still there. You can see the mass really good yesterday with this huge CME. And here is our mass object that basically NASA doesn't even have a name for what it is, so we need to figure out what it is how far away it is and how huge it is and basically I'm going to stay, take it back here on time on the on the video player and we're going to freeze that uh, basically star twinkle twinkle little star and we always know stars twinkle at each other and there's electrical energy and there you go there's an electrical connect connection this is pretty much ladies and gentlemen this is the stairway to heaven okay because basically you see the stairway that gets produced by stars electrically twinkling at each other okay and basically if you go back to what I'm showing you here is this is the object that is up to the right when you look at Navy Sechi and basically I got some fresh on that and I'll show you that in a second but as you can see we're blown up here and this this video uh, whoever did this one I thank them this is standard YouTube so I just take this and I could have blown this footage up myself too and took a look at this like I've showed you other stuff before and here's some of the triangulation of it that it's around and then also these ones here these stars are also around uh, so as you see that play through there that's our object and let's get a little bit of look since I got it blown up too we've seen a little bit different action right there uh, I think about and we'll see you kind of see to the left and then you're going to see a little bit up and top bot top and bottom we'll just play it it plays real fast so we'll just see if we can get it see if i can freeze it if it does it again that i thought i saw yep you see it top and bottom how it has the rotators on it And see if I am really busy recording. Can I get it to stop? But anyway, there's rotators that are around it, and it plays so fast that 
Just watch for the rotators there. I think it barely had it froze in time that you could see that there's, yeah, you can see them rotating around. And there they were again there. And I just, I didn't get it soft. Kind of makes me mad, bang, that I didn't get it started. There they, you can see them. So anyhow, play with it. You can play it back and freeze and get those in there. It's like a video game. See if you can freeze the electrical rotation around this object. There it is. So it's about at that area there. There's one of them. And there's the other one on the bottom. So that's about as good as I can get. Okay, so let's and forget anything to the right. We don't care about any damn prophecies or anything, but that's the guy we appreciate, whoever that was, male or female, who put that video up. And there is your last go three. 211, 25, 700, there you go. 11, 26, and then 542 BUTC. Boom, 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 boom. Now we get to see that object here, and there it is. And basically we'll just pump it up real fast. We'll pop up to 400, and that is the object. It's not in the lower left. When you go to Soho, you'll probably see it lower left on a stereo ahead, but this is basically a head. This is Lasco. And that's how the military looks at it. Okay, it's up in the right hand side. So basically we're gonna take, I'll take you into a map that'll show you that it's not even supposed to be there, okay? Because the only thing that's supposed to be there is Mercury to the left. Mercury and possibly Venus, but basically we're not even getting Venus in the shot right now. It's not big enough, okay? So there's our object. And let's go look at a bunch of stuff that's going on over here because I've got this one blown up. And we go to get to zoom in on this stuff here. As you see, it, another stairway to heaven back there, electrical connection between some stars. Now, possibly planets, too. Pan planets could possibly do that, too. And I'm thinking that's what the NASA's freaked out about, that if there are planets, we can't be going to show and letting people know that there's a static electrical from a planet to a planet. Now, this is a unique tumbler here, the three inside of three. And this one actually almost looks like it's two spinning stars there together. Okay, and they're in perfectly triangulation. And all this stuff spins around real fast. And this is stuff that you can see if you watch a bunch of the... Uh, of the Soho movies in the blue background uh, on stereo ahead. Hey, people all see those a lot. Okay, that's our remnant that's very famous that we know of there. And then I'll knock this shot down, but basically you can still also see that stairway to heaven back there that it's gonna be the same thing I just blew up on the other deal. It'll be a stairway of electrical connection. And basically the uh, two satellites that they uh, went ahead and uh, now, like I showed you the other day, when when Space Weather was showing you the space, the ISS, and putting it in front of the sun, it is. It wouldn't even if if it was in this shot, you wouldn't. Even, you'd have to get it blown up a thousand times to be able to see it, okay? Because it's so small, okay? The, the sun is huge. I keep telling people the size. Now, and don't think that this is some kind of Grail project either, because they did magnetically correct connect two satellites. A, co a contractor or NASA and a bunch of scientists and physicists figured out the idea to connect two satellites together and rotate around the moon and do a bunch of x-rays. We have still not seen any footage back from the GRAIL project because basically it's a bunch of data. There is a moon thing that I'm going to show you, but basically they've got it basically, they've Hollywooded it. They've played around with it and painted some stuff. And I'm going to be able to show you that in the, in the future too. And also that I'll be able to show you some uh, private dick organizations or something to do with the government sent me some goofy ass pictures that I was able to pick up off the internet that are basically false because you've got the old Russian back side of the dark side of the moon and you've also got some other shots of the moon and I'll be able to show you a bunch of truths about the moon and stuff like that so this was this shot there that you we were zoomed in on basically a stairway to heaven a, a twinkler basically stars or planets electrical and magnetifying each other together and these do that a lot down here that we blew up in on too okay so and then basically uh, we also, this object that we've been seeing, it's not the same object. You have to understand there's tons of triangulations out in space, but this one here is very interesting because it looks very much like the data that I ended up getting and receiving from uh, a, a former NASA employee. He smuggled some stuff out, and they had it on the Internet, and that's what's on my header on my video. And it looks a lot like it. Now, these are stars that are rotating really fast and are close together, okay? They could possibly end up going you know, supernova someday. Eventually a lot of stars do that. I mean, every star is supposed to theoretically do that sooner or later. Okay, so we'll move up and basically what I'm trying to do, basically showing you back and look at this. 
is the actual fascia. Let me blow it up. Okay, here we are blown up at that triangulation. Let me move it over a little bit, and here you go. So you see what we end up seeing is a bunch of stuff that we normally see, and this is the vast distances you have to remember that you can see off in space. But as we have what people would probably try to say, oh, well, those are galaxies way off. No, they're not. And if they are, they're triangulated, okay? Now this, no matter what, I can't help the magnifying glass there because I could play with it and get rid of it. It's not worth the time. So I'm not really blocking anything right now. You can see the triangulation, and you can see that there's basically stars, and there could possibly be some planets with that right there and also here but these are fast movers and twirlers and this is probably what's doing the action to the volcano over or something similar to this the volcano action over in japan and a lot of other volcanoes too and you also there, we're going to get into that footage of the mexico one with something going directly into it and it actually did well it's the out it's out there whether it's man-made or not i.e uh, jesse ventura's deal on the twin towers is absolutely correct positive basically it's a supernova made by a satellite, okay? And basically, we're going to end up finding... Somebody's going to find out in history someday who actually did it, okay? And a guy died over the whole thing and stuff like that. So it's actual, actual. Not the, about the space shuttle getting shot out of the sky by one? No, that's false. Uh, that's actually something that could get some people in trouble saying something like that. Okay, so, so let's zoom in on a couple stairways to heaven. And basically, we got it right there. Very nice collection right there. I should be able to just move up. You know that we're going over top of the sun with its remnants right here. And I'll go over to the right because I'm going to have to get it over to the bar to move up. And here we go. And here we go up. And then we got this other one over here. And we're going to probably zoom in a lot more on this one here once we get centered on it. Okay. Now let's go ahead and blow in on that as much as we can. And you'll see another stairway to heaven. Basically an electrical connection between planets or stars. And there you go. And we'll see if we can do a little bit more. And there's a nice stairway to heaven. Basically, I, I could probably, with physics, be able to make us be able to travel uh, 72 years of they figured time travel in a tube, light in a tube. I think we could basically do 72 days, probably in, uh, I mean, 72 years in 72 days. Okay, it's that simple. There's some physics that I figured out by checking this stuff. And that's what, how everybody's always busted physics. That's what Einstein did. He looked in a telescope and he got at these ideas of, a black hole and everything like that. Little did he know a black hole was basically uh, two suns going. Here, we'll pop this shot, shot out so you know that we're looking at what we were looking at. So there you go. We were all zoomed in on all this stuff here. Boom. Our two stairways. And there's lots of them that come up all the time. And basically it's electrical connections, okay, out in space. So you got to remember that electrical DC current in space travels in a stair step to heaven. Basically it travels in sheets, okay. DC current breaks up in outer space into sheets, but it still stays magnetically connected, okay? And DC current, folks, is a straight line. That's why they call it direct current DC, okay? Uh, AC is a wave, ladies and gentlemen. And see, I got such a fresh shot here now, and it could be CME action, and then I'm just an excuse that I always say, and then you flip a coin, you never know. They could be hiding something from us, and I guess might have been the stuff I just showed you, because it just refreshed the page. Let's go to refresh this page also. Now, I messaged to Dirk Strong and all the other people that look at the stuff out in space. This is, a, it's up the right-hand side. Basically, I'll pop down on this, and then we'll refresh this page also, and get us a fresh shot, see what's going on. And basically, we need to zoom in on that right there while I got the zoom, because basically this is very interesting that we got, like, comments coming by. Right there, as you can see, and then we also had a comet cross, two comets right there. So let's get a shot on this, and basically we might be shot on time with this whole video. It takes time to do stuff and show you things. So there we go, and we'll just keep zooming in on this, because I'm going to refresh this page. There's probably going to be some more stuff that they don't want you to see, because it's very rare that you get something like these shots here. We see, I've seen plenty of crosses before, but this is a fresh one. I haven't seen one for quite a while. So we got a couple comments doing that out in space. Check that out. X marks the spot. Maker's mark, ladies and gentlemen, have a drink. We're crying out crackers anyway. And there, there's another stairway to heaven. So basically, this is doing an electrical connection between a couple planets and or. And then you have to start realizing counting, okay? But two to the movie is not uh, binary, okay? So that's not a binary. But I think I've seen some messages, but 
You know more than anybody right now.